Good evening all and welcome to another video on All How The Ale. It's Sunday night and it's Mother's Day and it means it's trad beer. And uh, the beer we're going for tonight hails from Belgium. It's from Chimay. It's this one. It is the Chimay 150, otherwise known as the green one. Um, and it is a strong blonde Belgian Trappist ale weighing in at 10.5% ABV. Um, and it says on the back of the bottle that Chimay 150 is a strong sophisticated and refreshing blonde beer with a balanced flavour and a floral fragrance combined with hints of dried fruit and spices. Obviously the Trappist logo certifies that the beer is brewed in a Trappist Abbey and that the majority of sales income is intended for social aid, beer fermented in the bottle. Uh, so yeah, I decided I'd pick these up from the Belgian beer company um, after the success of my Christmas dalliances with the Chimay Blue. Uh, so yeah, I thought I'd try the others as well. So without further ado, let's get this out into a glass and see what we think. So we're going to pour into my Chimay glass, naturally. We're not going to pour everything, but the pour is blonde, like it says, and that lying. So we can encourage a bit of a head, not massive. That'll do. That'll do. So we've got a nice blonde beer, as it says. Uh, subtle haze. Obviously, it's fermented in the bottle. You can see carbonation coming up from the bottom from the nucleation points. Can you see it? Yeah, you can actually. And a nice tight white head. So it looks the part. What does it smell like? Subtle banana. A little bit of like the coriander type spices, so I'm just wafting it. Yeah, coriander, banana. It's really, really indulgent on the nose. It smells rather tasty. So it looks good, it smells good. Let's see what it tastes like. Cheers. big beer there is no getting away from that it's boozy um body is not medium weight nicely carbonated quite smooth mouthfeel overall is very very nice and the flavors big it's very clean very refreshing slightly dry and boozy um I'm getting hints of the banana. The spices, yes, I get it. The coriander, that kind of vibe. It's almost a little orange going on. It's very familiar, yet at the same time new. It's it's certainly a beer that I think will get better as it warms as well. I've got this one quite cold. It's about five degrees. Um, and... It's the kind of beer where the flavours will just really open up and burst. But even at this point, you know, it's bold. It's, they, they say fruity. I kind of get it. It's kind of like an aged Christmas cake. Um, that kind of boozy fruit. Uh, really dark. Really dark fruit, but obviously in a light beer. Um, hints of citrus every now and then as well. Quite sharp. And the finish is boozy, long, refreshing. They don't lie. They do not lie. Mm. It's a Moorish beer. It's very, very Moorish in as much as I have a sip and I want more. So, scoreboard of joy time. There have been a fair number of check-ins to this beer. Um, there have been 39,500. Only five from people I know. And... Uh, why have I written five? No, it's not. It's not five at all. It's 3.75. Uh, no, sorry, five. Yeah, ignore me. 3.75 average overall. I'm reading the board wrong. Uh, it's that strong a beer. Five from people I know with an average of 405. There we go. Slightly, uh, slightly confusing there. My scoreboard of joy is currently void of anything apart from the name and the looks, aroma, body, taste and finish and the possible bonus points if it does well enough. So... 
without further ado, let's go on to the points. Let's pour a little bit more, just so you can see the pour again. It's a lovely colour. Lovely level. I'm going to call it fridge haze, because that's kind of what we've got. Um, beautiful golden colour there. Nice little bit of subtle haze. Beautiful tight white head on it. It's glorious. The glass helps as well. Look at that. Lovely. So, uh, yeah. Is there any reason to give it anything less than a point? Excuse me? No. Uh, aroma. Banana. It's, a, it's subtle on the nose. Um, it's a big, strong, flavoured beer, but on the nose it's quite subtle. There is banana. There is that spice. That coriander vibe. There's something else. I can't quite put my finger on it. But it's definitely playing nicely with the banana notes. It's almost butterscotchy. Butterscotch, banana, coriander. It's just quite light on the nose. Uh, it's good though. Um, it is good. I'm going to give it. In fact, it's very good. I'm going to give it the 0.75. It just needs more. Uh, body. Beautiful. Medium weight. Smooth carbonation, lovely overall mouth feel. Um, it's about right where it should be. I'm giving it a point. Uh, the taste, it's a big boozy beer. There's no escaping that fact. And you either like it or you don't. Me, I like it. Um, when I have a beer of this intensity, I want to know I'm drinking it. And sometimes that just little kick, that little alcoholic burn is just enough. Um, and you've got that here. You've got that lovely banana. You've got that spice note. You've got that hint. I was searching for it earlier. It's more like a butterscotch. And you've got, like I say, that, that aged Christmas cake type vibe going on in the background. It's really very good. Um, yeah, having a point. And the finish. It's long. It's boozy. It's slightly bitter. And I like it a lot. Would I change anything? Good question, would I? The answer to that is no, I probably wouldn't actually. Um, so no, I wouldn't, I'm gonna give it a full point on the finish, which means the 150 from Shimei has got 4.75 out of five from me. Bonus point time. Can't have the full bonus because it didn't get a full five out of five. Would I buy it again? We'll come to that one in a minute. Value for money, uh, I paid about three quid something, about three pound 50, something like that for this beer. Um, and it represents great value for money. Uh, absolutely. Would I buy it again? Yes, I would. Um, it's one that I would have more in the summertime though, um, because it is that kind of lighter, fresher flavour. Um, whereas the Chimay Blue is a quintessential winter weather beer. Um, but yeah, summer beer. So yeah, 4.75 out of 5 with a couple of bonus points for good measure. I like this one. I do. I, I must admit, I was slightly pessimistic up front. Uh, my experience with big Belgian blondes is uh, is not the best. Um, but then again, that was when my taste buds were not quite so well rounded, shall we say, as they are nowadays. Um, maybe it's time I revisit a few. But this one has really exceeded my expectations and at a very sensible price point as well. So, yeah. Is it as good as the blue? No, uh, but it's not far behind. Um, it's definitely, it's summer compatriot. Let's leave it there. And so, uh, yeah, before I waffle too much, we'll leave it there and say, that's been the beer. I've been me. Those down there are the buttons. You know exactly what to do with them by now. You've got your like, comment, dislike, and subscribe. Choose any combination of them as you wish. And I'll see you again soon for another one. Bye for now.